you. And then we're on to the next example. We've got um, it's tug of war, but it's between three teams. So they've got this ring in the middle, and they're trying to pull it into one of three um, areas, not quadrants, but one of three sections. So uh, ABC play the game of strength. Um, they're all tied to um, this ring. Team A has got a vector. Four uh, I, zero J, and so on, sort of vectors. Um, then um, the first question just says, which team wins the game? Very simple, very straightforward, with no uh, step by step. So um, if you take a in class, but how do you know what team wins? And the answer is, is very simple. It's whichever team has the greatest magnitude of their vector will win because, um, you know, if you have one team pulling straight up, let's say, uh, at 10 units, 10 pounds, and you have team B pulling straight down at 15 pounds, uh, the one with the larger magnitude is going to win because if you combine those two vectors, the resulting vector is a rope that is pulling straight down at five pounds. Um, it's a little bit different with three teams, but uh, the basic principle is the same. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is take and um, rewrite these as vectors uh, in component form. So four, Um, not that you have to do that, but you'll see in a little bit, it might make our, uh, the math a little easier. So, um, there's your component form, which team wins the game, the team with the largest magnitude. So, uh, if we want to solve these, um, so team A, Uh, magnitude is um, well from the very first lesson of 4.2 here. Uh, we know that the magnitude of a vector is just the square root of the x term squared plus y term squared, assuming you're in component form in standard position, uh, which we are. So we were going to say the square root of 16 plus 0. So the square root of 16. Now, yes, the answer is 4, but I'm going to leave these as square roots, and you'll see why in a second here. Uh, magnitude of B, that is the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared, and that is the square root of 20. All right, and you know what? I'm going to take it a step further. Uh, There. I'm going to write it out just so you can see it. Um, and then we've got vector C. Square root on that is negative 3 squared plus negative 3 squared. So the square root of 18. Now you might be able to see why I left negative or the square root of 16 as is is because the resulting magnitudes a, b, and c, you can compare them evenly, square root of 16, 20, and 18. Which team wins the game? The team with the largest magnitude, and that is team b. Okay. So what is the magnitude of the teams' combined force acting on the ring? So what we're really searching for here is the magnitude of the resultant a, plus B plus C. So the first thing we got to do, question mark, there we go. Uh, first thing we got to do is find just what is vector A plus B plus C, our resulting vector. Since it's in component form, standard position, we get to just say, add the I terms, or in component form, add our X terms. So 
4 plus negative 2 plus negative 3 is our resulting x term. And then 0 plus 4 minus 3 is our resulting y term. So if I write this out in this form, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 0 plus 4 is 4, 4 minus 3 is just 1. So we're almost there. We now have the coordinates of the endpoint, and what we're missing is the magnitude. So uh, what we do is we say the magnitude, a plus b plus c, is equal to the square root of the first term squared. Get rid of that. A couple marks there. Um, square square of the first term plus square of the second term, which is the square root of two, or one point four one. And the the notes here says forces that are given in kilonewtons. So kilonewtons. What is the magnitude of the combined forces? There we go. What direction is the ring being pulled? Well, if you look at uh, what's happening, we have our coordinate of our resulting vector is negative 1, 1. Uh, so I'm going to come over here. If we have 0, 0, we go negative 1 and up 1. So resulting vector is right here. Uh, back and up. We need to know the direction angle. Well, the direction angle is specifically is this angle right here. But if we look at this triangle here, I'm going to redraw just the triangle part. There's our vector. And we know if we create this triangle, we are one unit left and one unit up. Therefore, this angle, the only... The only angle that can get you equal sides on opposite and adjacent uh, is 45. But that's that reference angle from the negative x-axis back up to our angle. We want to know here, theta. Theta is 180 minus our 45. So theta is actually equal to 135 degrees. So direction angles, like these, are always given uh, starting from the x-axis and working your way counterclockwise, just like we've been doing for unit circles and other trig functions. That's, that's direction angle. Moving on. Last example. Um, I know I've shown the video to class, but uh, I got a truck driving, let's say, in the uh, positive x direction. So they're they're heading to the right, um, and at some moment they fire a soccer ball out of a cannon, air cannon, um, and it is pointed. The gun is pointed exactly towards the negative x uh, at the same speed, 60 miles per hour. So the question is just, what is the resultant vector? So uh, vector a is the truck. And that is 60 miles an hour in the X, but our truck is not flying. It is not heading up or down, so it's just a Y component zero. And the B vector is the soccer ball. The soccer ball, though, that's pointed left, so that's pointed negative 60, but also not pointed up or down. So our resulting vector A plus B is just 60 plus negative 60, or 0, and then 0 plus 0, which is 0. So what is the resultant vector? Resulting vector is 0, 0. If you remember the video, the video is the soccer ball just sits still, which is proven by this vector. Now, at some point, we do account for a vertical vector called gravity, but in the instant that it comes out of the cannon, we're just looking at that, and the ball does just sit still. So uh, those are all the examples for now. I will start a third video and begin to introduce the next part of applications, which is pilots and uh, rivers and uh, directions versus bearings and all that good stuff. So 
Um, that's the next video.